Gion Lake, Sword Lake, is known as the Lake of Legends in history. It has aroused of emotions in the admirers of all times. Uyan Vansiu, a poet in early 20th century depicted it. In some verses as follows. There is a cup inside and is light where the water and the heaven meet. A fishing boat sees off its guests then returns to sleep by the flowers. Sword Lake is the very soul of the country in existence for thousands of years. A base for the people to take pride in the history built by the people. In the past and the people at present. Sword Lake can be termed as a sacred space of Hanoi and of Vietnam. The legend has it that it used to be called Luke Tu Lake, Green Water Lake. Since the water was green all year round. During the war against the Min invaders, King La Taitu. Incidentally got a precious sword. After ten years of continuous struggling, the king finally defeated. The Chinese and reclaimed the nation's independence. After that, he set up the capital in Thang Long. Once a nice day. While boating on Luke Tu Lake, a large turtle came towards him. It immediately grabbed the sword with its mouth and submerged. The king realized that the god must have lent him the sword. To drive back the enemy, so when his nation was free, the sword had to be returned. Hence King La Taita named the lake Hong Kim. Lake of the Return Sword, after this. The lake name reflects a great philosophy that has surprised many people. That is the philosophy of peace which came up in the 18th century. Returning weapons to the gods after wars is what the lake name indicates. So, its full name is Tregum, or Hong Kim Lake. The Lake of Returned Sword. That has the profound psychology to be hidden in this famous relic site of Thang Long. Rua, Turo. Tower is closely associated with Sword Lake. It has neither glorious history nor unique architectural features. Yet, it exists as a symbol of Sword Lake and of Hanoi. It locates on Rua Mound which is only 0.6 meters above the lake level. It was considered a mountain according to the ancient Feng Shui. So, it was called Kwisan, Turtle Mountain in comparison to Ngak Sun, Jade Mountain. The rectangle-shaped tower has its length facets facing the east-west direction, and its width facets turning to the north-south direction. It is a three-story tower with one top. Ngak Sun Temple is a unique architectural work that contributes to the sacred space of Sword Lake. It is erected on Gok Mountain. The Huk Bridge, Tranba Pavilion, and Rua Tower are accompanied with Gok Sun Temple. They make the landscapes more beautiful. It is widely known that Gok Sun Temple is located on an island in Sword Lake. The ancient temple seems to get nicer in the space of both water and mountain. The temple is located in Hangdao Street. 
Its gate consists of four brick columns and two medium-high walls. There are parallel sentences and Han characters carved in each column, thus enhancing the ancient of the relic, giving visitors a better understanding of its history and values. On the two walls, there are Han characters of Fuck and Lock, which are carved in red as the wishes of blessings and good lucks. Above these characters are two epigraphs. Got you two, Pearl and Here, is caved in one side. The other side carves Sun Gong Chi, turn face upward to Sea Mountain. Pearl indicates nice, noble virtues. Meanwhile, High Mountain indicates the talented and righteous people. When we step over the gate, we can see a stone tower erected on a stone mountain whose diameter is 12 meters and height is 4 meters. The tower is square-shaped and 5-story. On the 5th story lies a 0,9 meters quill pen. That is why the tower is called Butt Quill Pen Tower. The stone mountain is called Dock Tun. But tower represents literature. Han characters Toth and Thien are carved vertically in the northern face of in three stories in the middle. M Many people try to uncover the profound meaning of those characters. Tram Dankoa depicted their meaning in a poem of his. According to him, they mean to write on the blue sky. Yet, some historians held a greater negative thought towards them. According to them, Ta means the fight. So the words mean fighting against Thin Dynasty. In fact, then Siu built it to show the strong will and beautiful soul of Thang Long people. So, Ta Than Thien should be understood as riding on the blue sky. A small temple called Sun Than, Temple of Mountain God, is found at the foot of the mountain. This creed dates back to the primitive time when stone was worshipped. Another noticeable item is the small stele carved with five characters. Tai Sun Thach Kam Duong. It aims to drive away ghosts and evils, preventing them from approaching the temple. Passing the Bat Tower, you will come to the second gate. That consists of two smaller side gates with two stories and eight roofs each. One gate has the image of a dragon in the posture of waiting for a school of fish and the two Chinese characters of Long Mong. The other has the image of a tiger and the Chinese characters Ho Bang. The images depict ancient anecdotes. According to Oriental culture, Long Mong indicates the success in examinations on Ho Bang implies the people who attained doctoral title in their feudal dynasties. They symbolized the academic achievements in Confucianism. When one passes these two gates, he will reach the third gate. Different from the first two gates, this one consists of a high wall and red painted doors. A stone ink stand is put at the top. So, it is called Ging Dai, Ink Stand Monument. Quill pen must be accompanied with an ink stand. This is a pen to write on the blue sky. So the ink stand is created to be in pair with that pen. It is made of a big jade and peach shaped. It is supported by hair frog statues. Especially, a poem by Guyan Van Siu was carved on the ink stand. Then comes the Huck Bridge. The means to stay in Huck means morning sunlight. The name may be given when the city had no high-rise buildings, so rays of morning sunlight could stay on it for long. 
It was initially made of planks vertically arranged on some columns and had no banisters. The bridge was beautified after several renovations. Now, it is curved resembling a rainbow and painted red to suit its name the Huck. The place where the morning sunlight stays. After passing the bridge with 15 arches, you will reach Daguyak Pavilion. Moon Contemplation Pavilion, with two story. And three Chinese characters Daguyak Lao depicting from the ancient verse. Kuntu Lao Dai Qian Daguyak, literary meaning, this is the first place. To see the moonlight, because the pavilion is high and surrounded by water. So, it is not hidden from view. So, the one who contemplates the moonlight from here is like to embrace the moon. Tramba, Pavilion Against Waves, is an impressive architectural work in the campus of Ngok Sun Temple. It is nice and poetic. This square-shaped pavilion was built at the same time with Butt Tower and the Inkstand Monument from 1865 to 1866. Trambadin literally means the pavilion against waves and storms. It was built to prevent the bad impacts of exotic cultural factors on the noble, age-old culture of Thang Long in the middle of the 19th century. In front of the Badin Pavilion is three temples, the central parts of the complex, in terms of position and worshipping belief. The first temple consists of three compartments. It is built with two stories and four roofs. It is the front house that has ten, ten, sun shades, incense table, and gold-planted statues of a couple of vernal hanging parrots. The second three-compartment temple is also built in the same style. It is the Kungui, front palace. An incense table, worshipping items, and altar are placed in the second compartment. There are three layers of statues here. The outer layer has the statues of Quan Vu and his two generals namely Zhao Zhuang and Quan Bin. Lit a statue is placed in the middle of the second layer, on two sides of which are the statues of Thien Khoi and Thien Viet. The statue of Van Zhuang on the throne is put in the innermost layer, which is also a scared worshipping space. They are the Taoist notables originated from China but adjusted to suit the Vietnamese spiritual life. The third temple is the sanctuary where Tran Hung Dao is worshipped. It is a sitting statue with a hat with the carving patterns of the moon and two dragonflies in the middle. The statue has square face, big ears. He puts on mandarin costume decorated by the patterns of dragons and clouds. His left hand puts on his thigh and the other hand holds a book. There are two worshipping places at his back. The place to the east worships the gods of mountain and water, kitchen gods and the temple founders. In the west are the votive tables worshipping. Tram Truthu Ong Fu Hong Dao Dai Vuong. The worship of Quan Kong and Quan Vu is still practiced here. The worship of Van Zhuong appeared to match this. Van Zhuang is the literature and culture god. Many people also pay attention to worshipping Tran Hung Dao. Besides, there is the worship of Latu, whose real name is Ladong Tan, the god of health. 
few people have a right distinction of these gods to make proper rights. Hoafang Tower is more than 100 years old. It used to be part of Bao and Pagoda, also known as Sung Hung. Ling Tri or Quan Thuong Pagoda. The Pagoda complex was damaged over time and only Hoafang Tower remains. It is a four-door tower. There are four big doors in the base floor which were built on four big pillars. The second and third stories are square-shaped. The third story is smaller. A wine bottle is put at the top of it. This is the special feature of Buddhist temples. Two images of eight trigrams are carved on the two facets to the east and the west of the story. They took root from I Ching Book of Confucianism and were adopted by the Tao Sim as its symbol. So, Huafang Tower is the meeting place of three religions, Confucianism, Buddhism and Taoism. The statue of King Le is an important part of the Hon Kim Lake and Gok Sun Temple complex which has been recognized as a special national relic. The work is located in the campus of the NO.16 Latita Street. Passing the gate, one will reach the Fuang Din Square House with two stories and eight roofs. Stones are arranged into the statue support. The support consists of three parts. The octagonal shaped part is used to support the bronze statue of Lalu. It imitates some architectural traits of Greece. The bronze statue of Lalu is 1.2 meters high and in the standing position. It shows the respect of Hanoians to the national hero. Miss Ludi Mid who was a famous Bulgarian poetess and writer. Before becoming the Bulgarian vice president talked about Gok Sun Temple. And Sword Lake with a beautiful verse. This is a nice flower basket in the heart of a city. With lots of concrete works. Song Gok Sun Temple needs very much an elegant and colorful beauty. And it is Sword Lake. On December 9, 2013, the Prime Minister signed the decision to recognize Hong Kim Lake and Gok Sun Temple as special national relics. This has confirmed again the position of these relics among the relics in the capital city of Hanoi and in the country. To Hanoians in particular and the Vietnamese people in general, Gok Sun Temple and Sword Lake are both familiar and sacred, both realistic and mysterious. It is like the imprints of the past and the pride of the future generations. The place, which is the symbol of the thousand-year-old capital receives a great number of visitors at home and aboard day in and day out. The legend can still be felt today. Hong Kim Lake and Gok Sun Temple have been the witnesses of the life in this thousand-year-old land. At this moment, we suddenly remember some verses by poet Tahu. Guan Lake is always blue. 
it exits with the country's everlasting development.